him on the one and one count. Two outs here for the Cats trying to get a... Uh, I wonder if they deal in Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. Because that's, that's a whole world of itself. Yeah, I did. I tried that for a little bit, yeah. but I just couldn't get behind and get <laughs> on it. I, I don't... I like the show and everything. Like, my brother was one of the ones who was, like, digging and finding all those old, like, Charizards because yeah. he grew up around the same... He's of the age where, like, mm. it just came out when, yeah. like, the first edition Charizards came out and stuff. And, you know, it was... Uh, there's a walk there. Uh, Irish have a man on first. Uh, but, yeah, so he went back and got all the stuff. But, like, if you don't have the first edition stuff, like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to hold value, I feel like, when Charizard's not out there hitting home runs. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Did you, um, did you see when Logan Paul uh, wore a $5.2 million Pikachu? Yeah, it was <laughs> – it's smart marketing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he, he knew what he was doing. I honestly – I saw something – like about last week or two weeks ago, he went to Abu Dhabi and he bought one for $24 million. Wow. Because I guess there was like, when the first Pokemon tournament came out, mm. like, I don't know, 2000, whenever it was, 1999. Okay. Yeah. They, before they, you were born. Yeah, <laughs> but, or, yeah, right when I was born, yeah. before I could even remember that I was alive. <laughs> uh, but the winner of the tournament, yeah. like the Pokemon tournament, got this one-of-a-kind card oh and he went and found the card and wow. tracked it down from somebody in Abu Dhabi and somebody in Abu Dhabi and he went and bought it and it was like t cost him 24 million dollars but like that's pretty nuts you know cuz like I could see that you know there's not there's only one of yeah. those like but there's a bunch of first edition Charizard so it's not like those will there's a lot of them you know what I mean there's yeah. not really there is a rarity to a sense but then it comes down to condition you know sure. what I mean but then when people stop caring about condition that much, they're like, I can get a PSA 7 for mm. this price compared to a 10. You know, it kind of drops off a little bit. I, I think Logan Paul is single-handedly holding up the Pokemon market, <laughs> actually. Inside as well for Kellen Pate. Jack Penny now coming up. One and two single RBI run and a strikeout. There is a lefty warming up in the Wildcats bullpen. Quick meeting between Pate and Markinson. 7-1 still your score. That big 10 plus. Could be Parker Hanks warming up. In the bullpen there. He hasn't moved in about 30 seconds, so I haven't been able to locate a number yet. <laughs> being attentive to the field of play. The uh, Wildcats only have two left-handed pitchers um, on their roster, and I don't think they would throw out Sean Sullivan right now. So my assumption would be Parker Hanks, and that's going to get in the gap, and that's going to score two for the Irish. Almost had an opportunity at a triple. Stand up, double. Penny sends two more across the plate, extends that Notre Dame lead. Back to eight, the Irish now lead nine to one in the top of the fourth with two outs. Beautiful shot right where no defender was. Yeah, Calvin just kept the ball, kept rolling, and just, you know, um, just two outfielders just couldn't get to it between, between Pinkston and Bashir. Freisner, 0 for 2 with an infield fly. Myers on deck. Pate, his 45th pitch in relief. Again, just a timely piece of hitting where no one was. Didn't It wasn't a line shot all the way to the warning track. You know, it dropped, yeah. you know, over Livermore, who tried to make an effort, just couldn't get there. Ten runs today. We have not seen a long ball yet. Correct. Split wind, and by that I mean we see it Gusting, you know, from left to right sporadically. Again, as I have learned throughout, you know, having the pleasure of calling games not only here but over at Sharon J. Drysdale Field for softball, you know, with all with the Welsh Ryan Arena, with the football stadium. Uh, there's go back, 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 gone. Irish Kreisner, home run. I want to be the very best. 
like no one ever was. Notre Dame extends their lead against Northwestern. Yeah, I think I jinxed that one. I <laughs> just talked about no home run yet, and there it is. 11-1, Notre Dame has a 10-run lead. We were just taught, you literally <laughs> just said, well, based on the wind and the gusts and where the arena is situated, bam. Yeah, it, uh, what was the next pitch or two pitches after I stated that? Yeah, that ball cleared the fence by a good 20 feet. 